Hi everyone, Tyler Moore once again. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a theme. So what is a theme? A theme is the design of your website. So as we can see here, we have the design of this menu bar. It looks a certain way, it's black. And we have this image right here and basically how the website's laid out and the font they use and just the overall design of it. A theme is not the content. So when you change a theme, you're not changing the content, you're just changing how it's, how it's displayed or the design of it. So this hello world and uh, the sample page, they're still gonna be somewhere on the website, you know, somewhere in your WordPress. It may not be displayed like this, but there'll still be somewhere uh, in your WordPress website. So let's go ahead and change the theme. So we go to our dashboard and we go to appearance, then themes. After you do that, you click on install themes right here. Then one of my favorite free themes is called responsive. So responsive, just type in responsive into the search and click search. So here it is, here's our theme. Looks pretty cool. It has a custom front page. And what we do here is we just click install now. And then we activate the theme, so we activate it. All right, now our theme is activated. As you can see, nothing has changed back in the dashboard. But if we go to our website, we'll see that it's a completely new design. And the cool thing about Responsive is it has this custom front page with these widgets, which I'll explain later. And it's also responsive, so what does that mean? So if you're on a phone or a desktop or a tablet or something with a different size screen and uh, we resize it, the website will actually respond so it will reconfigure itself so that it fits really good on those devices. So let me show you an example. Let's say we have a really uh, uh, phone. We have a phone with a small screen and let's represent the screen by dragging our screen small. So you can see the website. Let me just close this. You can see that the website has changed and it even changes more and more as we get smaller and smaller. So this is maybe what it would look like on your phone. And maybe this is what it would look like on your tablet. So that's pretty cool. That's a responsive theme. As you can see, the content of the sample page hasn't changed. And uh, just one more thing. What do you do if you uh, don't see this page here? or it's giving you a 404 error. Well, what you do is we go back into our dashboard, then we go to settings and reading, and we make sure the front page displays your latest post. Now, I know it's a little weird that it says your latest post and not like custom front page, but your latest post is the custom front page of whatever theme that you're using. So make sure it says your latest post and click save changes. Then your front page should display. All right, so that's the responsive theme. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You can learn more at knutant.org. That's C-O-N-U-T-A-N-T dot O-R-G. I'll talk to you soon.